hi guys i just wanted to jump on here real quick and give you um a word from the lord that i received on the 20th i have been kicking and screaming like a little baby um not wanting to give this word to you guys um when i heard it it was just you know it's one of those words and i have many of them and that's why i'm holding on to them because it's just like i have so many and i have to stop being cry baby and I need to get on here and give these to you guys because what good are they for just me and he's and not just that but I'm being disobedient by not giving them and he's asked me to give these words to his children and I have been disobedient and then I lose my peace and my joy because I'm not being obedient to the Lord and that's kind of how it goes it's just like I I mean I it's not like I've been miserable, but it's just like I keep getting this tug and it's just like I haven't had, I haven't been settled in my spirit because of it. And so with that being said, I say, <clears throat> excuse me, I give this word, uh, I'm going to give this word. Like I said, it's not what I want to give. I, I don't know why he gives me a lot of these words of warnings. Maybe, um, I just, I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, I have a few that are like like all just happy and wonderful and you know I mean the usual, there's always encouragement in the word but there's a lot of you know warning in the word as well but I guess that's just where we are right now and um, you know he's using me now at almost 45 years old yes I just told my age whatever um, to you know he's using me for such a time as this I guess. That's all I can say. I've been through a heck of a lot. I walked a hellish road, just saying. The enemy. Yes. And so, I should just, I'm grateful. So don't, you know, I just want you to know. And I have a testimony. <clears throat> and I will give it to you one of these days. But y'all have to be ready for a little long video. <laughs> just saying. Anyway, I'm going to get to the word. I say it with fear and trembling. Take it, of course, to the Lord in prayer. Test the spirit. Always test the spirit. Um, I have gotten several confirmations from, you know, from this word um, or from the Lord about this word um, through other people and uh, prophets, actually. And so he just gave this to me to give to you. So just another warning, another just heads up, you know. So here we go. On 4-20-2022 at 6.50 in the morning, um, he says, Tell them, daughter, tell them to get ready. My glory will fill this earth like never before. Hold on to me tightly. My glory will fill this earth like never before. So that's twice he said that. Um, Your freedom, my children, is so close. Just watch what I'm about to do. You're in for a shock of a lifetime, a shockwave of my glory, children. You have no idea what this will do to your earth. My glory is so powerful, and I'm about to send it across your land. Never has it been seen or felt like this before. It will knock some of you right off of your feet. Hold on, it's going to get bumpy. My children, this glory of mine will bring a peace to you that has never been felt before. My love for you is humanly impossible for you to grasp. I am about I am about to show you this love I have for you as I, the great I am, move on your behalf. Your enemies will fall like flies, never to be seen again. My plan is coming and coming to your land, O America, very soon. Hold on my children were almost there look up to my throne as I move receive my joy that is ever so present the fall will be so great they will know that I did this I am I am going to make myself famous once and for all for all the world to see well, um, Hollywood watch out I come with my glory in hand and I am about to wipe you out I will be the most famous of all, saith the Lord. 
You are the epitome of actors I have seen yet. Listen up, Hollywood. If you're smart, you will get out while you can before I crumble your set. Your movie sets will be no more. You disgust me. Watch my children as I smack them down. Will Smith thought he had a great smack. Ha! Watch this smack. Watch this smack of a lifetime. Let the cameras roll. I have just begun and I will make a show all right out of you, Hollywood. Rejoice, my children. This filth will be no more. I am about to take them out. Their millions, I mean trillions, those were his words. The millions, I mean trillions, will be yours, my children. Just wait for it come soon. Prepare as I have told you, my loves. Get your money out of the banks. I am taking them down too. They have turned my financial system into nothing but evil, and I am done with all of that. Get ready to see God. Uh, get ready to see God. The world is about to meet the Creator. The Creator. Get ready. It's coming very, very soon. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord God. Once again, my children, I am scattering your enemies. I'm scattering your enemies. Woe to the evil elites, as you call them. At this time, the glory of the Lord is about to wipe them out. Rejoice, my children. It's a time of celebration, saith the Lord of hosts. And he gave me um, uh, James 5, 1 through 6, and um, also Proverbs 20, uh, 13, 22. Is it, yeah, 13, 22. 13, 22 says, A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner finds its way eventually into the hands of the righteous for whom it was laid up for. So he's saying basically, um, and that's the amplified version. Um, I actually left a little part out. A good man leaves a, an inheritance for moral stability and goodness to his children's children and the wealth of the sinner finds its way eventually into the hands of the righteous for whom it was laid up for. So this is like the wealth transfer basically and saying um, yeah it's the wealth transfer. I don't know how to explain it. He's just basically what's he, the 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 wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous, basically. And so, um, we've been hearing that for a long time coming. You know, we really have. And so, like I said, it's a word that is kind of scary because he's talking about banks and the bank system and all that. And you know, I have money at the bank as well, and so I have to. I have to address it myself and I'm not exactly sure. I know I'm going to go buy some silver. Sorry, I'm looking for the scripture here. Um, I very rarely read out of the Amplified. And so it's kind of like, I mean, it's, it's not as used as much as my New Living Translation Bible. But um, anyway, so James 5, 1 through 6 kind of all over the place you guys sorry but um you know like I said I'm probably gonna go buy some silver and you know I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do it's a scary thing like I said take it to the Lord in prayer test the spirit but that's what I'm gonna do for myself kind of sharing my business but whatever um Anyway, I just recommend taking it to prayer. Taking it to Lord of Prayer. Like my shirt says, pray on it, pray over it, pray through it. Just, yep, it's all right there. <laughs> I didn't wear this shirt on purpose. I'm always wearing something that can minister to people when I'm out and about in the world. So I have lots of these shirts. And maybe one day, prayerfully, I would love to. And that's kind of my hopes is to start my own t-shirt company my own t-shirt business and that's something God's put on my heart to do and <clears throat> anyway but yeah I wear these shirts everywhere it's just ministering without even speaking you know it's like so y'all should get some 
from wherever. Amazon. <laughs> um, all right. James 5, 1 through 6 says, let's read it. Actually, I'm going to read it in this other one. Sorry, all that for that. All right, hold on. I know it's right here. See, I know where everything is in my, in, in, like, the Bible I read all the time. The pages are, like, like, yeah, see? It's used. It's falling apart. See? It's like, <laughs> I need a new Bible. Okay. Let's see. James 5, 1 through 6 says, Look here, you rich men. Now is the time to cry and groan with anguished grief because of all the terrible troubles ahead of you. you. Your wealth is even now rotting away and your fine clothes are becoming more mere moth-eaten rags. The value of your gold and silver is dropping fast, yet it will stand as evidence against you as and eat and eat your flesh like fire. That is what you have stored up for yourselves to receive on that coming day of judgment. For listen, hear the cries of the field workers whom you have cheated out of their pay. Yeah, for listen, hear the cries of the field workers whom you have cheated out of their pay. Their cries have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have spent your years here on earth having fun, satisfying your every whim, and now your fat hearts are ready for the slaughter. You have condemned and killed good men who had no power to defend themselves against you. And so that is what the Lord gave me with this word. And so he's talking about wealth. He's talking about money. He's talking about the elites. He's talking about Hollywood. We know Hollywood ain't all that. They're, Hollywood is not so wonderful as it seems just saying a lot of people I, I hope that a lot of you that watch that are watching this don't you know sit in front of the tv and watch all their junk that's on there because it's just like the lord said to disgust me to disgust him you know and yeah he's taking him down just you know we're gonna get some good wholesome stuff to watch anyway so that is the word that i had to re to, to release like i said I have not been obedient and it's taken me a few days to get this word out, but the Lord's been tugging on me and I finally got it out. So here you go. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Um, you know, he, he doesn't do, he doesn't move without giving us warning because he loves us so much. And so, um, I just really feel in my, in my, in my spirit that something is coming very soon, that something's going to happen. He's been warning us for years, you guys, years to be prepared to get our houses in order, to get our, our hearts right, to get our hearts ready, to get our, our, our physical houses, you know, ready for us to have extra food on hand, water, you know, that all came in handy when we had COVID, right? When, when everything shut down and everything, you know, extra toilet paper, you know, and stuff. And so we need to just always keep a supply, you know, always keep that on hand for anything, for anything that could happen. I mean, for goodness gracious sakes, we could have any kind, like, like, What's going on with the weather, you know, and all the tornadoes and all that stuff over, you know, I'm in California, but over there, you know, on the other side of the country, there's just all kinds of craziness going on with the weather and, and all that. And so, um, you know, just think about last year in Texas when it froze all the, every, it, that was crazy, you know, so always be prepared, always have extra food, water, toilet paper on hand, medicines any kind of extra medicines you might need, dog food, babies for, you know, diapers, all those things that you might need. Formula, if you, if you, if you have a newborn or, or a, a, an infant, have all these things extra on hand, you know? And of course, first aid, of course, first aid. Um, you just, we don't know what's coming, but I have some other words that have some warnings and I need to get those out to you. Um, I won't be able to do it tomorrow, but Monday I'm going to work on another one that the Lord's been tugging on my heart. So I will do that on Monday. I just don't want to flood you guys with so much all at once. And, um, you know, I just don't want to do that. So 
Anyway, I love you guys. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I just ask that you would bless your people, bless your children, Father. I ask, Father God, that you would give them supernatural wisdom with the information that you just gave to them, Father. Give them wisdom and knowledge from heaven to know what to do, um, their next steps to take, Father. I pray um, for supernatural protection over them, their homes, their finances. I plead the precious blood of Jesus over them and their families and their properties, their homes, their finances um, as well. Over our minds, our hearts, our souls, our spirits, our physical bodies. Lord God, give us favor in everything we say, touch, think, or do. Give us favor with every person we come across, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And just bless your people, Father. We love you. We praise you. We honor you. Glorify your holy name for everything that you are doing right now and what you are about to do. And we just thank you for, for loving us so much. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins that we, so we could have a relationship with you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I just thank you for the opportunity to get on here and share your heart and your words with your people, Father. In Jesus' name, I love you. Amen. And I love you guys. God loves you. Um, Jesus is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. There's no way to heaven except through Jesus Christ. So if you don't know him, please invite him into your heart, into your life. Let him be the, the, the ruler of your, of your life. It's a relationship. That's all it is. It's not about rules and, and, you know, and regulations. It's a relationship. That is what Christianity is all about. It's about a relationship with Jesus Christ and with our Heavenly Father who created us to have a relationship with Him. So just know that, you know, that He died for you and that there is no way to heaven except through Him. You have to make Him Lord of your life. So if you don't know Him, please 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 you could be saved from all this judgment if you don't know him and he'll protect you like he's good you'll be you'll be you'll be called a child of God that is what it is all about and he he's saying clearly to my children he will protect us so if you don't know him accept him into your life right now accept Jesus into your into your heart ask him to change you ask him to forgive you for your sins repent and ask him to change you and he'll he, he will the holy spirit will come in ask him to ask him to the holy spirit to change you and and to, to to make you new and to help you and lead you and guide you in the way that, that he wants you to live and get a bible of course you know bible this is the holy word of the lord and this is alive this book is alive there's different translations that you can get that like I use the NLT because because I, I like it it's it's easy to read it's easy to read and so anyway with all that I love you guys have a blessed day and I will be back very soon with another word remember take it to the Lord in prayer test the spirit and take it to the Lord ask him what he wants you personally to do with everything that you hear from anybody and everybody that you hear it from okay love you have a good day Bye.